Hi guys, welcome to episode 6 and uh, today there's not much to do uh, for anything outside because you know we're, I'm just waiting for the cold to get here. So what we'll do is uh, I'm going to set up a bin and I've collected some seeds around my neighborhood. Um, there's some Japanese maple seeds and uh, I'm going to sow them into the bin and uh, hopefully they'll grow next year. So yeah, planning for the future. Okay, here we are in the backyard. Um, I got my bin here. I just bought this from a big box store. And I drilled a bunch of holes at the bottom. I think this, that's enough holes. Um, there's these bumps at the bottom. Where the, this is the lower, I guess the, the lower end, uh, or the lower bottom. And that's where I drilled the holes uh, for, them, for most of them. And uh, I hope this plastic is okay for the uh, winter outside. It's fairly thick. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna fill this up with just some normal soil. Um, I just got these from Home Depot. They're just, you know, uh, garden soil. It's nothing special. And uh, I've got some seeds in my pocket. And let's see, right there. Um, this is this was as much as I could get. Um, they're just on the ground. I just picked them up. Some people have Japanese maples around the neighborhood, and they're all the same kind. It's the one with the red leaves that grows upright. Um, I don't know the name of it, but so yeah, I'm going to fill this bin um, to maybe a little bit over half, and then uh, plant the seeds for next year. Okay, let's get started. So this soil is just a, a mix of uh, peat, uh, compost, and some, just some wood chips and stuff. Nothing special, just regular soil. Well, halfway up now, and uh, I think that's more than enough soil. Yeah, it's probably too much, but um, I'll probably leave these seedlings in the bin for a year or two. Um, we'll see. Alright. Okay, there you go. That's the amount of soil. And uh, you know, this is just normal soil. Um, okay, so let's let me get all the seeds from my pocket. I'm just gonna spread these in and uh, I'll cover them up. Okay. So there's not that many seeds as you can see, um, but it's all I can collect. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna germinate or not. Uh, I've seen a lot, a lot of videos. Some people had really su uh, big su success with germinating these seeds, some doesn't. Um, I, just, I just collected these, so I'm gonna sow them and hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll germinate next year. So yeah, I'm gonna just kind of move one around. So that they're kind of buried. Uh, you know what, I'll just add some soil. It's 
just want to make sure everything's even. Okay, what? I'm gonna get that rid of that. All right, so we'll I'll have to wait about six to seven months and find out if this worked or not. I'm hoping at least a few will germinate. Um, I'd be really happy if a few can germinate. <laughs> I'm not expecting everything to germinate, obviously. Some of them are really small and that uh, might not be mature enough. But uh, we'll find out soon. Well, in six months. <laughs> so I was just checking out the uh, the garden, the bed that, was, that I would um, clean up just a few days ago. And this side of the bed I did before, about a week and or two weeks ago. And what I noticed is that a lot of uh, seedlings has already sprouted. Obviously, these are not going to make it. <laughs> um, I can tell right now these are most likely Cape gooseberries. Um, that's what they look like when they're small. And they're just bunches. They come in bunches. So you can imagine next year, probably a lot of these will germinate just like this. Um, yeah, it's uh, so they, they, they grow themselves every year, you know. Not much, uh, not much to do. Okay, yep, just wanted to show you guys that. Lots of rain. So uh, I've discovered spider mites on the hibiscus and I've already cut some leaves down. Um, I sprayed this with a homemade remedy. Um, it's just a uh, bottle of water plus some baking soda, some vinegar and a few drops of uh, dish soap. So I sprayed it down completely. Um, I'm going to wait about 10 minutes and then spray it, wash it down with a, uh, with a kitchen, kitchen, uh, what is this, faucet, I guess. And then uh, it has a setting where you can, you know, spray. So I'm going to spray it down and hopefully that'll get rid of most of them, if not all. Yeah, pest, pest problems. So here is the hibiscus after I washed it. Um, I did a visual inspection and I don't see any spider mites. Um, I hope they're all gone. Uh, you know, I, I hate dealing with pests. I'm not really good at it. <laughs> so uh, hopefully it's okay. So let's take a look at the aquarium now. Um, as you can see, the uh, lychee tree, the leaf, has become much bigger. And uh, same as before, it's not green yet. It's just this uh, kind of a pale yellow tone to it um, but they'll green up and then everything else is looking good um, flare is growing so the repot was a success all the ficus are healthy um, I tried to check for spider mites in here as well and I didn't see any uh, the hibiscus has never been near these plants so I don't think there's anything in the uh, tank at least I hope there's nothing in there. Um, so yeah, I mean the, uh, the the weather is getting cold. I placed my a couple of Japanese ma maples in the more sunny area in the backyard, but I'm I'm hoping for color change. But I think it's just gonna because it's, it's getting really cold, and uh, I think they're just gonna wither away and not have the bright color I was hoping for. 
so yeah um i don't know if how many videos i could do now because um you know the weather is getting cold and um you know there's not much to shoot except for the indoor trees or the tropical trees indoors so um, but you know i'll try what i i'll try to do what i can so yeah, that's it that's it for now um yeah see you guys next time